Um, next, other thank yous. Uh, Chuck Bonstead for his tireless and hands-on support of this project. Patrick Brass. Patrick Burns, our invaluable trap consultant from Switzerland. Our partners at Pikes Peak, America's Mount, Jack Lab, Brad Densmore, and Sandy Elliott. The Colorado Springs Park Department, the Parks Board, and Karen Paulus, Parks Director. The United States Forest Service, and in particular, Oscar Williams. Colorado Springs Utilities. The City of Manitou Springs, Mayor John Graham, former Mayor Ken Jure, and all City Council and City staff. The City of Colorado Springs, Mayor John Southers, Chief of Staff Jeff Green, the City Council of, of Colorado Springs, and all city staff. El Paso County Commissioners, and I saw Holly here just a while ago, and Stan's going to be speaking uh, for a few moments here, and, and again, the support of El Paso County and the county staff has been phenomenal. Thank you. Stacy and Whippa, uh, a partner on the rebuild of this train, they did the demo of the old track, installed 27,000 cubic yards of ballast on the mountain so the track would be supported, and then constructed the new track for us. A great partner. Thank you. You and Bank for being a great banking partner. Thank you. Stadler of Switzerland, who designed and built our new train cars and offered coordination on many other aspects of our project. <laughs> IBG of Switzerland, providing the new engineer and design for our new tracks. <laughs> Zao of Switzerland, who manufactured the new snowblower for the car. And if you haven't seen this thing yet, it looks like it came out of Transformers. It is just the coolest thing ever. Uh, and by the way, it's parked right back there. On the way up the mountain, you should be able to look back and see it all the way down. Uh, Tinsel Rail of Switzerland, who manufactured the rack rail, the ties, and the switches for our track. Advanced Rail Systems, who designed and produced the switches for the new track. As we look out in front of us, 27,000 cubic yards of ballast supplied by Martin Marietta. <laughs> McGrath Construction of Colorado Springs, who did a phenomenal job with us on the depot renovations and some wonderful ideas, including the bridge that we're standing on today. Last but not least, the Broadmoor Marketing Department. We have some exciting things happening with public relations, with Good Morning America, broadcasting live from the depot, as well as America's Mountain on Friday. Krista Henneke, Sarah O'Brien, and in particular, Tim McDonald. So thank you so much for marketing to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for taking the time to be with us this morning. This is truly a historic occasion. It is now my pleasure to introduce Gary Pearson, Chairman and CEO of the Broadmoor Sea Island Company. Gary? Good morning. You've actually done something remarkable. I've never seen you make it through that dress up before. I asked. Uh, Phil Andrews, who's with us today, whether he would like to speak, and with his characteristic twinkle in his eyes, he said no. 
I want you to speak today, and I'll speak with the next three <laughs> Uh, the, the question, question that, that I get asked more often than any is recognizing the businesses that the Hanson Corporation has all over the world, literally, five continents, hundreds of businesses. Why here, why now, why something that could be argued old technology? Beyond just making good business, there's a, there's a deeper answer to that. And there's a better question. The real question is this, is it the right thing to do? So when you think about that as the question, you have to ask yourself, is it the right thing to do for our employees and their families that we've supported for so many years and that have supported us? Is it the right thing to do for the city of Manitou who's been an outstanding partner to us and in all that we have done and looking forward to the tax dollars that we generate to support their schools, their critical services, and their infrastructure. Is it the right thing to do for the city of Colorado Springs, whose location was not founded by accident? It was founded by General Palmer to be in the shadow of 5 2 And last, was it the right thing to do for the United States? when a gentleman that made mattresses for a living looked at Pikes Peak and said, I think we need a railway to go up the side of that. Whether beer was involved, I don't know, but it should have been. Uh, when you look at what you're seeing today, you're seeing Exhibit A of the fortitude of the United States of America. Nobody in the right mind would have done this the first time. I won't make a comment on the second time. Um, but this is part of us. This is part of our history. This is part of who we are. And this is something that we should be proud of because we can't forget history. We have to live it. And for all of you, those that are here today, I hope you have a great time. But I hope you also think about your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren being able to have a common experience with you and you be able to say, I was there the day that it opened. So I want to especially thank Nancy and Phil Anshu for their vision, for their commitment to the West, for their dollars, and to recognizing that doing the right thing is still the right thing. Thank you very much. This time, I'm to ask Mayor John Brown of Manistee to come to the podium. Mayor Brown, thank you. Good morning. I want to let you know that this morning's weather is being brought to you by the people of Manistee Springs. We don't always agree on things, but I think the weather today, we've got a pretty much 100% vote. So I hope that uh, you have a great day and a lot of excitement. I hope you take home great memories for this. On behalf of the people of Manatee Springs, we extend you a very warm welcome. To start off, I want to be a little bit politically incorrect. I want to go right to the money. I want to acknowledge the tremendous financial commitment that Cod Railway has made to the future. The railway has invested over $100 million to rebuild, update, and enhance the line, its rolling stock and its facilities. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a real step into the future. We need to recognize that and give the car credit, not only for its investment, but for its resolve and vision. It was gutsy to rebuild the road in the first place, but all the more so during the time when COVID hit and introduced such uncertainty and so many challenges into the effort. The roadway chose to step forward into the future and face it with optimism. Now we should be good for another century. Thanks for that long-term commitment, for it will benefit Manitou Springs and the greater Pike Peak region. It will keep us as gateway to America's mountain. Manitou's economic lifeblood is intrinsically blended with the cause of success. Let us remember that the railroad needs to repay that $100 million that's invested here. That will take years. It will take many seasons of efficient operation for the railroad to recoup its investment and then to start truly showing a profit. Meanwhile, Manitou Springs in the region will be benefiting greatly from the tourism that the railroad generates. Secondly, just as we are joined at the hip economically, so Manitou Springs and the Cod Railway share a common partnership, a critical partnership. We have common interests and common problems. 
We are joint stewards of this narrow valley, this small, often charming, often, often crowded city. Manager Springs needs to protect both the quality of life of its residents, but also provide support, and, uh, providing a rewarding experience to the car drivers. And the railroad needs exactly the same thing. During the last several years, there have been many meetings between COG and city officials. I believe that because of those interactions, we've developed a strong and productive partnership. We've come to realize how important cooperation is, particularly when we're signing twins and you find yourself joined at the hip. In closing, it's a great day, it's a historical day, and again, I wish everyone a great day. Thank you. Also, a Manitou Springs customer for dining, for shopping, and that's never lost on us. And thank you for recognizing it is also something that you recognize. So, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, bring up to the podium Stan Vanderwood, El Paso County Commissioner. Stan? Thank you, Stan. Wow, what a great morning! And hello, everybody. I'm Stan Vanderwood, the chair of the Board of County Commissioners for El Paso County. And on behalf of the entire board and the El Paso County team, welcome to this fantastic, outstanding event. And thank you to Manatee Springs for bringing on the great weather. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, John, for your wonderful comments. And I am also lucky as a county commissioner that represents the district on the west side of El Paso County to be part of and represent the hardworking people and the tourist attractions that are on the west side here. This includes uh, the Pikes Peak Railway, the Cog Railway, and so many other tourist attractions that we have. And tourism is the lifeblood of so many communities uh, that we have here on the west side. Uh, I tell you, uh, it is great to be at this opening, uh, grand opening ceremony for the uh, Cog Railway. And as you all know, this is one of the most iconic tourist attractions in the United States, and we have it, ladies and gentlemen, right here in our own community. That is just really fantastic. Now, it's hard to imagine now, but back in the late 1880s, it took two days on, a, on the back of a mule to make it to the top of Pike's Peak. Now we do it so much more quickly. And the first track was laid in 1889. Can you imagine the vision that was necessary to do that back in those days? But it was Spencer Penrose who had that vision uh, for a more modern and streamlined trip to the top of Pike's Peak so that we can view America's beauty but also have a tourist attraction that is unique and wonderful. And in 2018, it was time to modernize and evaluate uh, the cog, and it closed for a period of time. But once again, our community came together as a team, as partners. There were a lot of negotiations on how to make this work. Uh, there was a lot of discussion about how to make the cash flow appropriately so that this could be a success. But we came together and we delivered. I would like to thank the city of Colorado, uh, the, the city of Manitou Springs, the Pikes Peak Cog Railway, the Broadmoor, the Anschutz Corporation and Mr. and Mrs. Anschutz, and Oklahoma Publishing, who came up with the plan to tackle this hundred million dollar reconstruction effort so that we can keep our iconic institution right here in El Paso County. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the COG is ready to relaunch and carry tens of thousands of tourists and residents to the top of Pike's Peak to enjoy these beautiful views. The views that inspired Catherine Lee Bates to make a wonderful song. And we can, with being at the top of Pike's Peak, we can experience an important part of American history that we as citizens here made. So thank you everybody who came together to make this project a reality, a sincere thank you. And with our combination of natural beauty, a high quality of life, and a strong economy, Ladies and gentlemen, we are America's destination, and I am proud that the COG is back on track for another 140 years. Thank you, everybody, and I look forward to riding to the top of Pike's Peak with all of you. Thank you, Stan. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, it would now be my pleasure to introduce Martin Ritter, CEO, Sotler U.S. Martin, please come up. Honorable Mayor, Dear Commissioner, dear Mrs. Sanchez, good morning, everybody. I am really thrilled today to be here. Not only I believe I have one of the best jobs in the world in building trains day in, day out, but being part of the team that builds the train, the highest train in the world to go up to over 4,300 meters over the ocean, it is just a pleasure and an excitement to be here today. There's a couple more reasons why I'm so excited about this project. This project, we got the award for building new trains, overhaul existing trains, deliver the, uh, the rack, the actual rack, and we talked about it, the South uh, Snowplow. In 2018, December 2018, now it is two and a half years later, we're standing here, and we're seeing all those products and contraction milestones delivered. This is certainly kudos to the entire team, but also kudos to the customer. The customer who is a private-owned company uh, operating one of two cargo systems in the United States, and obviously one of the few private-operated operations in the United States. It takes a lot of dedication, faith, and, and seeing the vision to invest at that point of time that much money in such a system. Truly appreciate it um, to be partner and part of such a great spirit of an organization. On top of that, I want to thank our partners, uh, starting with, with Tencel Rail, who was providing the, the car. Um, on top of that, we partnered very closely with Stacey Wayback, who built the whole track. And we got, obviously, South delivering on time a phenomenal uh, snow plower so that we can actually, or the customer can eventually operate those trains early in the spring or all year round. I want to close with a big thank you to all of those who have been involved, but certainly I want to wish everybody and especially our customer, all the best for the future. Many customers, many uh, smiling and um, exciting boys and grandfathers and families and just excited people to go up on the top of the mountain. I think you're going to really, you are setting a landmark, a, a new pole in the rail industry in the United States. And we're certainly proud and thankful to be part of your team. And we're going to be around which is, if you want to see more trains, our headquarters is just west of here in Utah. Um, the good thing of being a part of the train system is we're partner, it's like a marriage, we're partner for the next 30, 40, 50 years to help you, um, to help you guys to keep that system running smoothly and safe. So thank you everybody and a wonderful day. We're Merry wishes from Switzerland. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I can now ask Clayton Gilly, President of Stacy Whitback, to come up and say a few words. Clayton, thank you so much for the partnership. Good morning. On behalf of Stacy Whitback, congratulations on your grand reopening. I'll just share three things real quick. The first is we just want to express our appreciation for being invited to participate in the project. It's the coolest project in our portfolio by a landslide. And the stories from this project will live on and be woven into the history of our company for years. So thank you for inviting us to participate. The second is I just want to point out the cooperative partnership approach of our customer led by Gary, Chuck, Spencer, and Ted. It is uncommon and it's highly effective and it went to the benefit of the project. So thank you for that approach. Finally, I'd just like to uh, point out our own folks, the State Olympic staff and craft that put in uh, quite a bit of hard work over the last three years. I think it's uh, a display of strong character, uh, resourcefulness, and grit, frankly. 
And so they are soaking it up today. I'd just like to say uh, well done and, and uh, congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate the partnership very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great honor to introduce the Governor of Colorado, Governor Jerry Polis. Governor Polis. What a fitting and beautiful day for the re-inauguration of uh, the rail, Cog Railway at the base of America's Mountain, which is Colorado's Mountain, which is Colorado Springs, Pikes Peak region now named after beautiful Pikes Peak. Uh, the Cog Railway, Broadmoor Manitou, have been operating and transporting passengers since 1891. And of course, the famous Summit House opened in 1964. I can't wait to join you at the top to see the brand new Summit House. By the way, at 14,115 feet, the highest Summit House of its type in the entire world, welcoming visitors from across Colorado and across the world to see the beauty of the Colorado mountains, especially for folks who don't like to hike 14ers or can't hike 14ers. There's another way to experience the view from the peak. There's so many folks to thank, of course, Mayor John Southers, Mayor John Graham, uh, the commissioners, the Forest Service, uh, the Angeles family members are here. It wouldn't have happened without them. I want to express our gratitude on behalf of the state of Colorado uh, to the Angeles family. And you know, out of, out of uh, the natural process of struggle in the face of great challenges, it's great to see Colorado rising to the top, literally moving mountains. That's the Colorado way. And the Cog Railway is going to help us get there. It's about our pride as Coloradans. It's about the enjoyment of our state. It's also about economic development, tourism, jobs, as others from across the country and across the world can enjoy everything that El Paso County and Colorado have to offer. I'm so excited to join you today on behalf of the state of Colorado to help ensure that Colorado can continue to those transit options like the Cog Railway worthy of our dynamic and growing population and that are ready to take the next generation for the next century of visitors to the summit. You know, we know we need to work hard and move people quickly. And we're looking forward to reaping the benefits of the success of this railway as an institution here in El Paso County, something that everyone across Colorado can take great pride in visiting and being a part of it. I look forward to joining you at the summit. Thank, thank you. you. Governor Paulus, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. We also appreciate your support of the hospitality, tourism, and travel industry. Uh, the the Cog Railway is a major piece of that. Uh, hospitality, tourism, and travel in El Paso County and Colorado Springs is a major economic driver. Thank you for recognizing that. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could please uh, focus your attention underneath the bridge I'm standing on, we are going to have the grand ribbon cutting of our new railroad. Thank you. 
and gentlemen, as we prepare to board trains, please, uh, track one will be boarding closest to the gift shop uh, and the main staircase. Anyone with the uh, button track two will be boarding under the gazebo closest to the creek. Uh, there'll just be a moment, the train cars will be pulling up and we'll be ready, uh, ready for boarding and heading up to the Pike summit of Pike's Peak. Thank you so much for being here today. It is truly an honor. Uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to having this experience with you. Enjoy the day, ladies and gentlemen.
have a high ball. Other train clears this way. Ew, copy high ball. Yeah. 